five minutes after seven o'clock. Uh, I'm just laughing because uh, I got duped, and now I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not smart. But joining us in studio this morning from the uh, Roswell High School Band Boosters, uh, Chris Samuels is with us. Also, we have Elizabeth Sanchez and uh, John and Julie Don Donahue back with us. Good morning, hey. guys. How's Good everybody morning. doing? Good. 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 How are you? Good. Well, what I thought we were talking about is not what we're talking about because unless you'd like to go to Georgia and, and support the, the Roswell High Band in Georgia. <laughs> we prefer it here, though. We'd really yeah. like the support yeah. here. Start here, and then yeah. if you got a little extra, then bring it. We'll take them. money from Georgia, too. <laughs> yeah, I bet they got more people. They got more people to pull from. So yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a probably a, a more congested community than here. But uh, the Roswell High New Mexico Coyotes <laughs> <laughs> band boosters are with us. All right, first off, um, last weekend was y'all's big weekend yes. with the Marchathon. That's a, 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 an annual event that you guys do. Yeah, we started it last year and then we did it again this year. Uh, the kids marched from Roswell High as far north as Reed Street. Okay. Over to Albertsons, um, down to uh, Tuckery Jalisco. And then back to Roswell High. It and, was a little. And we went under, to Farmers on Hobbs. Yeah. Okay. We went um, a little less than five miles. Wow. Yeah. And they were marching, playing their instruments pretty much the entire time. Right. That's so. not just like hiking in the woods five miles. That's marching with, uh, you know, this is when the kids that played piccolo were happier than the kids that signed up for tuba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the bass drums, or, or the bass drums, or the quads. Our sousaphone. We have three sousaphone players, but we only took two, and they each took their own mouthpiece and they traded off. Yeah, yeah I would. I would imagine it gets uh, a bit weighty there, but, mm -hmm. but um, well, it, and a, but for those kids, uh, like for for the summer, like the camp band camp, that's kind of like boot camp for these kids, and and so I'm guessing they probably did similar. You know, lengths. At, I mean, maybe not all at once or whatever, but they probably spent a lot of time <coughs> marching around with their instruments and things. So a, a five mile deal here is probably um, about on par for what you know. Depending, you know, I mean, obviously in competitions they don't maybe go that far, but but as far as you know what I mean, it, it's oh. it's one of those things. It's kind of part of the training. Yeah, that's the difference between band and and you know marching band and mm. say orchestra or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it while walking and and and, and perform steps and 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 to a cadence and to a uh, you know a, a whole dance there. And, yeah, and that's uh, you know so it's like oh yeah you got to be good at playing whatever instrument you're playing, but oh by the way you got to be able to pat your head and rub your tummy while you're playing the instrument. Exactly. <laughs> you got to look good, too. Exactly. And, oh, by the way, it's usually all this stuff happening in the summer and you wear a wool uniform that, 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 that that's hotter than Hades. Mm -hmm. so, yep. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking um, they're probably doing that all summer. So by the time they get to last weekend, it's it's uh, not, not a, you know, it's an endurance for them. But, but at the same time, they've had many miles in in the uniform in that in that playing well, that instrument and moving thankfully around. we did not do it in the full uniform we did it just in t-shirt and jeans and thankfully it was cooler this year than it was last year that's true last so, weekend was a little nicer uh, temperature wise than, yeah uh, so but i mean they still you know most of them were in in jeans and they marched you know almost five miles and marching is not like walking yes you know it, it it's it's an art form. Well, it's in step, and your pace is dictated by someone else. Yep. It's not dictated by you. So when that happens, things like shin splints start because you're not walking your normal stride, and you're forcing your body to, to, to go to someone else's stride. And if it's way different than yours, it, it does you know create those shin splints. I Trust me, I remember basic training very well. <laughs> And uh, we did a little marching, and yeah, that was a problem because you're you're trying to do it to someone else's pace instead yeah. of yours. Well, and they don't just march. Whenever any of the fight songs or any of those things come on, "Hey Baby" or any of those, yeah. they have things where they like hop and like they're hopping back and forth. And I see these guys. I'm like, I don't know how you do that with a sousaphone normally, sure. but you just walk three miles and you're still jumping. Yeah. And uh, some of us walked with them. And I was just like barely keeping up walking, and I wasn't doing the jumping. So. Well, that is the uh, the gift of youth. <laughs> and that's what we all we don't think nothing about it when you're in high school, but when you get to our age, and you're like, all right, 
Yeah, that's a virtue that we don't have no more, and uh, enjoy that while you've got it. But yeah, 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 it amazes us now. But we were the same way. We were, when we were in high school, we had a balance of energy, and we were, you know, people like, "Why are you tired?" I don't know. It's just kind of it, it's youth. <laughs> yeah. Although in a few of the rest breaks, we did see people laying on the floor. Yeah. We stopped at both Valley View and Monterey Elementary Schools, which was kind of cool because it's feeder schools. So okay. a lot of, we'd, every time we walked in, kids would be like, oh, wow, it's changed hey, so much. So these kids will be doing in the same shoes here in a couple of years. Exactly. Yeah. They'll be there. Uh, and and it, it is. It's a mentorship there. And it's <laughs> the, you know, it's no different than when the, the football teams go to the middle schools and, and then <laughs> practice and things like that. It's it's the same here. Uh, you guys are grooming the next generation of, of, of Kyo band members. So yep. that's that's what you're doing. So And those kids look up, Tad. I'm sure the... You know, the middle school band looks and sees the high school band and seeing them playing like, oh, they're pretty cool. We should I wish we were that good. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's the aspiration. And this year we're actually we, we normally have a, a yearly uh, band night mm-hmm. and we'd normally do it on um, the Roswell Goddard game. And traditionally it's been where the kid, the middle school kids get to go out on the field and they pretty much just stand there. OK, they do a couple of uh, songs. Um, this year we're actually doing it a little bit different and it's actually a little bit more exciting. Okay. Um, on Monday, October 24th, I believe it is. Okay. Um, all the middle schools and the high schools and hopefully, uh, Eastern's band, the Greyhound Sound will be there and we're going to kind of put on a show. Okay. Um, all the middle schools get to do a show okay. with their music. I don't necessarily know if they're going to march because they don't really learn marching. That's, that's kind of a, uh, they're, they're still trying to get the music down. Exactly. Once they get that down, then we'll worry about walking. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, but both of our high schools, Goddard and Roswell, will do their current show. Okay. And then, like I said, we're hoping to get the Greyhound Sound down here to close out that. Okay. Because a lot of people don't realize you could actually get a scholarship to go to school and for band sure. or choir for any of the music programs um we had one uh girl last a drum year captain last year okay she ended up at the last minute decided okay i'm gonna go to eastern and she pretty much got a full ride i believe oh, wow. so good for, um, good for them yeah, yeah. That's, and that's i mean great. this was at the last minute if she would have actually planned it she probably would have gotten completely paid for it. sure so, so so kids you know keep Every scholarship said, you know, it's, it's, uh, and I tell this, even when we have like the college folks and they're talking, I was like, when it comes to scholarships, it's, it's, it's throw everything at the wall and see what mm-hmm. sticks. That's, that's yep. the mindset you got to have here. So if, if you've got the band skill set and under your belt and you're good at it and people want to give you education for going there and all you got to do is apply, then you, you, uh, you know, you fill them all out and let, mm-hmm. let, let everybody. And then. But the idea is you have choices at the end, and it's like, all right, this school is offering me a full ride. This school is offering me a full. Which where do where do, what fits best for me? And, exactly. And uh, but you know, it, it kids are well, humans in nature. Or, you know, we we're procrastinators by just by human nature, and and that doesn't work that way. But if it does, it's pretty good. So yeah. so hopefully these you know take that lessons, and and those kids can. You know, it would be great to see if some kids had locked her a lawyer someday and it got paid for because they were pretty good in band. You know what I mean? That's, that would be awesome. That's, that's you know. Uh, and who knows? Maybe they are starting that career where they're going to, you know, be in the Philharmonic or, you know, in the in Sydney, Australia, playing in the Opera House every every week. You know? Well, um, the new Cloudcroft band director, well, music director, mm-hmm. Um, TJ Coleman, I believe it's Cloudcroft. It might be Capitan. It is Cloudcraft. Capitan, I think. Okay, it is Cloudcroft. Um, he okay. he's alumni from Roswell High. Okay. He went to Eastern for the music program. He got his degree. He got hired at Cloudcroft, and that's and, his, that's his roots. Yep. He he him. just started this year as a music director, uh, teacher, and you know, wish him the best of luck. Absolutely, so, that's great. So uh, so there's a lot of opportunities there for these kids now. Now, it, it, for them now, is it kind of shifting to competition practice? I mean, obviously oh, football, because yeah. really football half times are practice for the band mm-hmm. to get ready for competition. They do or their band routine. Tober. Yes, so they're they're that's kind of where their focus is right now. Right? Yeah. Well, that's why we don't have any kids here today. They yeah. all decided that seven a.m. rehearsal was more important than coming on the radio. I I I'm, they're right. <laughs> this, we're not important. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're not so, the dumb kids that, that they're talking on the radio. So, <laughs> so but yeah, um, Bantober. That's that's what we call October because okay. uh, starting on the first, we are in Denver City. Okay. And then we have the fair parade on the following Monday. Then we have green and silver in Portales on Tuesday. Thankfully, that Saturday we're off. Well, we're off, but all the parents are working the fair. <laughs> right. And then the following uh, Tuesday, we're in Artesia for the district competition. Okay. Then we'll be back in Artesia that Friday for the game. And then that Saturday, we are on our way to Albuquerque for uh, Zia Marching Festival. Oh, wow. So they're just going to be living in their uniforms and living Pretty with much. their uniform. Uh, and then the uniform. following Saturday, we're back in Rio Rancho for Pageant of the Bands. So, um, and then we're the last Saturday, we will probably be at Roswell Honda for their Paint the Town Pink event. Okay. So, so your, your, your dance card's pretty full for the next couple months. Here, nah, so. we're, we're, we're good. we can pack some more stuff in there. I mean, well, you want to know what we've done since band camp? We've done two cart washes. We've sold Krispy Kremes. We did our march a thon. We sold 200 boxes of candy bars. Okay. Uh, we're doing the JV and freshman football concessions. Okay. We've collected um, somewhere around $13,000 in sponsors. That's what the kids have done. Awesome. Um, we do 50-50 raffles at every football game. And yesterday, we started our pie cell. Nice. So you guys are... Well, this is where the band boosters work. You know, we talk about yeah. the kids and their hard work, but... You know the band boosters, the parents, the supporters of the 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 Coyote Band. Um, it, it unfortunately, you know, when it comes to funding for for extracurricular activities and things, it, it, a lot of it is on the organizations to raise that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, that's why the band boosters are probably as busy as the band. They're going to all these gigs, but guess what? It costs for to feed the kids, to transport the kids, to lodge the kids if it's an overnight, uh, you know, farther trip, things like that. And so they they literally have to be at a car wash one weekend, uh, you know, out at the fairgrounds one weekend, mm -hmm. you know, just to raise a little money to cover the bus transportation, the cost for when they stop at a restaurant, you know, after the after the performance or the competition and. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it gets quite expensive. And, and oh, yeah. by the way. And how expensive is it, Chris? It's going to cost us over $30,000 for October alone. Wow. And we don't get any money from the district for that. We have to raise that all ourselves. See, that's the part that gets me is why isn't they, aren't they, I, I know this is not your question. This is oh, probably is. a school board <laughs> we question. We ask it all the time. But I mean, I mean, a, a question to be answered by, by <laughs> our school board and things is why aren't there, I get it, money's tight, this narrow, but, but. There's so many science-driven studies and things that prove that music in the education is leaps and bounds better than it not being in education. Yes. So why are we supporting it more? Well, yeah. arts education in general helps to promote language, um, science, and mathematics skills mm -hmm. that because the same neurons in the brain do both tasks. Yeah. And so kids who do well in arts education do better in these other subjects, and they end up feeling a whole lot better about themselves sure. in the long run. Well, and, and we just, two different people, we don't learn the same and things like exactly. that. And, and like you're saying, you know, people that are kind of musically inclined or, or lean creative brained, they, they absorb information different than someone that mm -hmm. thinks from more of an analytical, logical place. And, and so... Uh, you know, school does a very good job of catering to that, to the logical. Mm -hmm. But how does it deal with the people that don't think in the box like that no. necessarily, or think you know that 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 track of mind? Well, and and that's where music comes in. It, it's not also, It's not just um, the you know the science and mm -hmm. all that stuff. It's also a therapy. And I and I want to tell you because I, all my kids have been in band. Um, we come from a long line of musicians. Mm -hmm. But my youngest, who is in the band now, Mia, um, went through some depression with covid and band was what got her that was out, her right that was, that was her, her that was her savior to right that yeah. was her to go place sure because the whole time that she was in her room you know she's playing her piccolo she's playing her flute mm -hmm. she's she learned how to play the accordion she learned how to play other instruments she was so, finding herself in those right, instruments yeah right. so music was her therapy yeah and that's so. that's that's absolutely and and don't tell me that there isn't every single human being on the planet that's not impacted by music one right. way or another. Mm -hmm. You know what that's I mean? Right. Absolutely. It's just, yes. It's just one of those things. So yeah, you're right. It's not just the logical understanding mm -hmm. and things, but it's 
literally making the person be the person that they are. And that's, Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, yeah, I I know we're getting philosophical here, but, but that's, you know, you know, talk to your, uh, you know, your, your representatives on school board and things and say, we, we need to worry, you know, work on getting funded for these things. I know. And I will say that we do get some funding from the district Mm -hmm. and last year, Mr. Carrasco at Roswell High did a lot for the band, and we are very appreciative of what he did for the band. And I Uh, think it's one of those things where everyone wants to, but at the end of the day, it's all about dollars and cents, and and, and, and that's got to come from higher up. Yeah, and we, we we bought the program, the marching drill last year. We bought the music rights. We bought, we paid for just about everything. Which I imagine music rights and things is probably not a cheap venture either, no. just to paying the, no. the rights to play these songs and things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah so. it can get expensive. And I mean, just the drill alone is, was $2,800 a share. Yeah. Wow. And and we're paying that. We're, you know, what we get from the district wouldn't have even paid that. Yeah. You know, I'm just thinking. You know, in the big picture, and we world, and I know I don't want to get political, but but in the world of celebrity and how celebrities influence, and you know, the way the world works sometimes, and all that. And I'm thinking there's a lot of artists that are billionaires and stuff because of music, and how many times are they getting paid because a high school band plays their song at halftime? And I'm like, can't they waive that stuff? Because I mean, you're living in a mansion, you let these kids play these music for free they're not making money like like turning a profit like to be rich for this they're just yeah. if they make any money it's to pay for the bus gig to the next thing and that's they should it. pay it's, us to play their yeah. music well christine aguilera's <laughs> and all these are making now i get it they should get paid for the right. work i'm not saying yeah. that, but but if you're if you're going to charge a club that's making a thousand dollars a night off of your songs that's one thing yeah. but a, a high school band that's learning music wants to play their song so they can get 20 people to watch them mm-hmm. play the music. I mean, come on. That's Yeah, because we do have to pay for stand tunes. Yeah. You know, it, it, whatever we play in in well, whatever we play. Yeah. We have to get the rights to do that. Yeah. So I mean, if we play Hey Baby, you know, even though it's been out for a while, we still have to pay rights to play that song. Yeah. You know, the only thing that we really don't have to pay for is our fight song and our alma mater. <laughs> those because someone wrote those in there. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're not public domain. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I mean, those are the only two that we don't have to worry about paying any rights for to play. Wow. But if you play the same song over and over and over, and it's only two, then they're going to start tuning you out and not wanting to or, do anything for you. At the very very minimum, if, at least they can do like what they do with radio stations and stuff. We pay CSAC and BMI and ASCAP, mm-hmm. and that kind of blanket covers us. Well, that we is pay. kind of what we do, too. Okay. We pay about three to $500 for the stand tunes they play, Okay, and then we report when they play that, and they, gotcha. they pay them from that fee that we paid up front. So you're paying the monthly fee regardless Right. Uh, they if, if they don't even play one song, they're still getting their money. Yeah. You just got it, for, you know, the individual artists. But BMI and, then, and those guys are getting. And then their money. for the the songs for the show, they cost us close to a thousand dollars a piece. Oof. Yeah. And part of that's the arrangement too. I mean, that we get yeah, because the... it's not the pop song that you heard on the radio. It's now an arrangement for a full band or orchestra. Sure, yeah, and... it's 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 a little different. Oh. But uh, but even still, I figure in this country, I think we could work away where. Where, uh, you know, because I, I'm not trying to say artists should not get paid for their work. They absolutely should. They put in. But when you've got someone that's a bazillionaire already and now you've got a band that just wants to play their song in halftime and they mm-hmm. can't afford to do it. Yeah. We just they need want. to remember who made them a celebrity in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Right. We you just know, need one of these to 15, be our patrons. Then we'll be good. Yeah. Forego <laughs> your three dollars. Until whatever Chris you're wins get the lottery. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the problem is it's not that cut of the artist. It's the right. middle people in between. They got to get their taste and yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. One of the things that we have learned recently is that in southeastern New Mexico, most of the schools do provide um, a, lot a more very fun. large budget for the band. Oh, really? And, that's just so. That's um, this is unique to us, right? Interesting. Okay, I thought and, this was statewide. That yeah, was dealing with. Uh, we've talked to a couple of different um, band directors. That have said no, we get anywhere thirty, forty, fifty thousand oh, dollars wow. for the band, and so um, of course we don't know what we would do if we 
had all that money, but we'd yeah. love to find out. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an interesting problem we to have. We are taking sponsors. <laughs> so, so if anybody wants to do that. Pro- but in all seriousness, I know we're complaining about what's going on here, but but um, right now the band could use support from from the pri- from the public, the private yes. citizenry. Yes, that's, that's exactly yes. how they're, they're able to do this stuff mm-hmm. because – um, you know, hate it, love it, whatever your thoughts are, they don't get that well, money right now from the district. Last year, it cost us around $90,000 for everything for the band for the whole year, and we raised $86,000 during the school year last year. So the community really stepped up. Good yeah. deal. Well, you're going to have to do it again if we can help out here. And that included so, a trip year, so this year won't be as bad, but we still would like to not... Uh, we're senior parents, so we don't have to worry about it, but we'd like them to not have to start out <laughs> We'd like the year them not to have nothing. to worry about October starting off the school year. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we are really appreciative of the the Roswell community because, yeah, we raised so much money last year and, and felt like we were going out every weekend asking, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? And, and Roswell stepped up for us. Yeah, it is know. rough every weekend going with hat in hand trying yeah. to do it. And people are like, didn't I give you money last week? <laughs> well, and especially since we have the Goddard Band. That sure. They're, they're, they're pretty the same much boat. in the same boat. Yeah. You know, I mean, they have a big fundraiser this matter weekend. Fact, matter of fact, they're coming on Friday to promote their, their about big the mattresses. Fundraiser. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, their mattress fundraiser this yeah. weekend. So and Absolutely. That's one of the things we're doing this year is trying to come up with some activities that we can do together with the two bands. Absolutely. Because you're in the same boat and, and and granted, uh, you know, on the, in the competition or if they're competing, but, but, and we've talked about this before and I think we've talked about the Goddard band boosters. It is a family. It's a music family. Yeah. They were blue and you guys were red, but, but it's a family. Together we're purple. Exactly. You know, and that's, that's, and that's how it's treated because Again, getting back to what we were talking about earlier, it's it's an us against them mentality. With yep. uh, you know, we're the ones that we have to do this all or on our own, and they're mm-hmm. in the same boat. Let's do it all on our own together, and then we'll 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 hash it out at competition. Yep. <laughs> you know, our our son, who's one of the drum majors, will uh, he wears a Goddard jersey, a, a Goddard band um, hoodie a lot. Mm-hmm. He'll go sit with their band on their home games. That's cool. Um, there's friends there's, there. They yeah. are. And that's one of the things we love about the Roswell Goddard game. Yeah. That night, there is so much camaraderie. They're they're doing so much together. And one of the fundraisers that we're going to be working on, we are going to be doing a, um, a tailgate party. Oh, okay. And we're looking for the businesses that are looking for something to get involved in. We're looking for people to help to donate, to also help serve. Okay. We're planning on doing a, uh, a big tailgate party with both of the bands and then all actually all six bands because we love the middle schools okay the middle school but bands too. really be just a chance to to be the big party because it's like the roswell goddard game even though people separate into their sides and they wear their red and their blue it's the whole community it is and then you have half the people that like switch sides halfway through because they went to roswell but their kids are at goddard there's or, a lot of uh yeah you, know. you got a dog on both sides both sides of the fight there i always yeah. love every year during the game when you see two football players just collide and normally there'd be a fight coming after that and the one will reach down and help his friend up because they hang around together the exactly rest of the time. when they're not at the game they were hanging out in the neighborhood together and things like that yeah it's... but going off the tailgate party we did get approval from the district from from uh the athletic director brett cooper okay and so we're pl- we're starting planning it with goddard okay um we are so trying... more to come on that one yes we're trying to get some businesses to donate some stuff so we have some raffles of course, we'll have our 50-50 going mm-hmm. that way. Uh, hopefully, that 50-50 will be like, we're, we're talking about combining it to where okay. it would be Even whatever bigger. Goddard brings in, whatever Roswell High brings in, we're going to put that together, and somebody's going to win a pretty a big pot. Well, I can tell you, so. between our last one and their last one, with, without it being full stands, mm-hmm. um, the the prize, their last prize was about 800 I think our last prize was about Six or seven hundred. That's pretty good. So, and we usually and that's get without more than as many double people. that during the Roswell Goddard. So game. it should that's be great. a really big pot. Yeah, because every time I see something, you're like, oh, I get about 150, 200 bucks here or something. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking close to a grand. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not bad, I'll take. And uh, you know, with uh, Christmas and all that coming up in a few months, that'll probably be some uh, much needed money for some oh, yeah, folks absolutely. around yeah. that time too. So, or if they wanted to donate it right back to the band, I mean, we'll we would it. gladly <laughs> take that. That would be, you know, sometimes that is what happens when people don't need it as much. But if you're like, no, I'm broke, I need that. Then yeah, come on down. 
<laughs> we totally understand that, you know. Yeah, so. there's a lot of people in that same boat. Uh, probably everyone in this room really like, yeah, I can yep. use it myself. <laughs> but uh, but so come support the band. Come out, you yes. know. So at half times here at the games on Fridays, come and support the bands, and of course, come out to these events and support them and all. And and then of course. Uh, let me ask this: If people are like, "Well, uh, you know, I just want to write the Bam Boosters a check," what's the we'll best? What's the best way to to get that to you guys? Right, PO Box four four seven seven Roswell, New Mexico eight eight two zero two. Very good, good deal. And uh, like you said, this is, um, and 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 this is it's a labor of love. These kids, yes. you know, the kids love doing this. The camaraderie that that like we were talking about all those sides and. And at the end of the day, they they don't get the financial support, the football, the soccer, the baseball, the the basketball teams get. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, if they want to achieve that same experience, it's on the boosters to help them do that. So yes. please support the boosters by supporting at these events. You know, coming out not only cheering on the kids and stuff, but you know, getting in the in the the football game uh, 50-50 drawings. And, and obviously, when we when we get closer to the the big tailgate party event here, we come on out and support the bands and. You know, just 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 celebrate them. Come out, so come and exactly. come out to the events. Um, um, you know, when 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 they're you know whether it's Roswell High or Goddard, and they're at some maybe they're at the fair or some place doing a doing a gig, and come come support it. Come come be a part of it. You'll I think you'll you'll be uh, pretty impressed with uh, the hard work and effort that these kids put in each yeah. and every year. So and they get crazier. The more they're cheered, the crazier they get. It feeds. It's <laughs> just they like just sports. feed off of that. And yeah. It's just it's no different than watching a football game. The players feed off the crowd. No no different than the band, you know. It's a uh, shoot. You watch Rocky movie, you feed off the crowd, you know. That's just human nature. <laughs> well, at the marchathon this past weekend, uh they were pay- playing Sweet Caroline mm. and they were going across and they got to the, you know, boom boom boom. Dun, dun, dun. And I honked my horn <laughs> when they did that and they were they all just it, they lit up. They were they had more energy. So, and every yeah. time they did it, I just kept honking my horn on it. And it, even the parents that were walking, yes. fun they is, even kind of got a little excited. Fun so. is contagious. It just yes. is, yes. you know, and that's what the band does. For That's that's kind of their job. They bring right. the fun. Yep. And that's what they do in each and every uh, football game or each and every performance and, they do. So. Well, and it, it's like our show this year. Um, I... I often don't get to actually watch much of it because I'm up, you know, doing busy, the 50-50 uh, stuff. And, yeah. But this time, as seniors, we decided we're going to make sure we watch it more. But Stop and enjoy on the this flowers, one, yeah. I'm like, I cannot believe this. They are all, like, moving around. And music is still coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Dance steps. Um, they're, not just, yeah. they're not just, you know, moving their body, but they're moving their whole Kind of like instrument. that stuff you see, like, big, you know, Michigan games and yeah. stuff yes. where the yeah. whole band's and da, da, that, that yeah. feel to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, come, very, come. very impressed. So uh, come see a Friday night here. Uh, Coyotes yep. are back home this weekend. Yeah. So uh, um, yeah, Pearl's bad, I believe. Yeah, so, so they, they were on the road last week. So they're yep. back in the Wool Bowl this Friday night. So yep. come on out. They can and look us up senior on Facebook, night. too. This, yeah, we, we yeah, are on it. Facebook. Don't make so. the mistake I did and, and get wrapped down into the, <laughs> to the, the band, uh, the uh, Georgia band boosters. Uh, although they, I'm sure they have a fine yeah. program. That's the, the RHS Big Red Band. Yes, um, big red band. That's probably where I should have. I, I should have yeah. big red band. Although there are a couple others that are big red band. It's, it took me a while to find them right. Find us right the first time. <laughs> but um, just, just tack in that NM when you do your searches, and it'll pop right there up. That that was my mistake there. I did not. But um, but yeah, and come out and support. And then uh, like you like you said, when uh, as we get closer to the the big uh, joint event here with Goddard and the tailgate party, let's we, we'll you get tell you guys back before we go there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah do, we yeah. are so. <clears throat> Pardon me. We are selling pies. Um, we are we're running from started yesterday through the twenty sixth. Um, it's a pie fundraiser that we did last year. A couple of the schools in Roswell have done it. Okay. Um, they're very good pies. Some of them are just thaw and eat. They're okay. pies and cheesecakes. Some of them you do have to bake for a little bit. Okay. Um, we'll have a post on our Facebook page, or find a band kid. Okay. Um. So you want yeah, good you, pie? And, and they arrive like... in time for Thanksgiving. Ah, yeah. even better. So the week before Thanksgiving, they'll be here. Um, if you really, really like them, then um, choir, Roswell High Qu- Choir will be selling them again for okay. Christmas. Christmas. So you need a round so, two. There you go. And Perfect. see any of us. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. So, so and that's, this is great if you like a certain pie that no one in your house likes. Exactly. You know, that way you can order it and then it's your pie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or if you, you even to... wanted to order some pies, because this year we are doing 
something a little bit different. If you want to order a pie and you don't want the pie, mm-hmm. then we're going to order that pie for you and we will donate it okay. to the Roswell Disaster Relief. Uh, or, yeah. we'll uh, or even forward. the community kitchen. Community or we'll, kitchen. Find some we'll, we'll find somebody. Maybe some of them want that pie. If they're doing the, the Thanksgiving dinner, maybe we can give them sure. some of those. So sure. if you just don't, it, or if grandma makes all the pies and you don't want to offend grandma, but yeah. you want to help out. Yeah, you want to keep some so, family peace, but but support the band. Mm-hmm. Um, we will we will put a pie on someone else's table that day. There we go. In your so, name. Yeah. <laughs> Very so. good. So uh, we're uh, pr- again look for uh, the big red band, the RHS Bam uh, boosters on Facebook, and you'll find links to order your pies and things yep. like that there too. So or you could always call Roswell High School talk yeah. to uh, Dr. Gomez. Okay, and then he can get you in touch with one of the booster officers. Okay. Perfect. So. Excellent. So uh, th- if there's a will, there's a way to get you a pie. Exactly. So, um, do they have, um, like, you know, the the you, your pie flavors going? Because I'm sure they're going to have the traditional flavors. But, you know, like the more rhubarb or something that people. No, they don't have those. Or they, They're, they're or kind of the, the more basic. The Apple, cherry, pecan. Yeah. You know, your, your popular Peach. ones. Peach, you know the. No, I think they did away with peach this year. Blueberry, so. maybe is probably usually a pretty no, popular one. I, this company is really good. They don't want to charge a lot of money for. Gotcha. Them. So uh, they're very so, narrow. What they yeah. Do. They're like this is what we provide. We're very, but we're very good at it. Yeah. It's kind of like rather than having a menu of fifty thousand things, they give you seven that are really good at making. Yep. Makes sense. So, so. good deal. Excellent. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate the visit. Thank you. And thank you uh, we'll see you next time. All right. All right. Thank you. And uh, and. Uh, Tell those kids to kick some butt. We're all proud of them. There we're, all right. I don't know. What's the break a leg rule in band? Is that? We don't I was, like to break legs. Okay. That's, I was thinking that's probably more for stage and screen. But, yeah. But I didn't know that was a slippery slope with band because I'm like, it is arts, but they are Yeah, walking. they're not as picky with the yeah. the break the leg or good luck or something we'll like that. We'll just say so. good luck because... But we kind of have our own kayak. saying, the band is hot. Yeah. The band is, there the you band go. is hot. Excellent. That Yeah, that so. seems very uh, right in the... You know, not nothing, you know, like nefarious, like leg breaking, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks. We'll see you Thank next you. time. Thank you. It is 757. Let's take...